What's up, YSN Nation? Steve Leslie, YSNlive.com with a special playoff profile preview with, I'm going to say it, with the guru of high school football, a guy that's done this for a long time, a guy that at YSN we all appreciate very much. And I know all our fans and all the football fans in Northeastern Ohio want to welcome Joe Idol to the show. Joe, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk a little bit about this. JoeIdle.com, the computer rankings. Uh, you've been doing it since 2000. Uh, talk about it a little bit, Joe. How did you get into this? How did it start? And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, from our standpoint at YSN, Joe, it's one of the tools that we use every week, and, and we appreciate all you do for high school football. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Um, so uh, it really just started off as a project after I graduated from college. Um, you know, I, I'd been following the rankings since high school. Uh, I've always been curious about them. And, uh, you know, uh, when I was at Ohio State, I majored in uh, software programming. So um, after I got out, you know, I just it put two and two together and took something I was interested in and, and you know, wrote a program to uh, – basically track all the uh, scores and schedules. And then once I was able to successfully do that, the next logical step was to calculate the ratings um, based on the, the OHSA um, Harbin formula. Well, what you do is fantastic, Joe. From an OHSA standpoint, have they been a big help with you? I, I know it's used a lot for the playoff systems. Obviously, last year with the COVID, uh, they did some coaches, did some rankings, but we're back to a norm this year. How big of a help is the OHSAA for you, Joe, in this process? Uh, well, they're, they're a great help. Uh, I, as a matter of fact, I, I produce the rankings for them now for the past few years, um, other than like you mentioned last year. So, uh, you know, I'm able to tap into that if I have trouble uh, finding a score here or there. They can contact the AD for me, uh, get the score. Um, you know, they, they let me know about any of the forfeits because I'll need to include those as they happen. Which fortunately, uh, fingers crossed, there haven't been uh, too many of those in the past few years. Um, but, yeah, it's a great uh, a great help, and I, and I like working uh, with them. Joe Idol, the guru of high school sports in Ohio that does all of the computer points and the rankings. We'll get into that with Joe with some of our local teams. I wanted to ask you, you talked about, Joe, from a from a scoring standpoint. How, how does a, a, a weekend for Joe Idol go? I, I know I jump on a lot. I do some YSU games on the radio, and every time I go on there, I see you updating. For a YSN fan and for our fans in Northeastern Ohio, what's a normal weekend like for Joe Idol with high school football on how you get those scores and put this process together? Well, uh <laughs> I guess the normal weekend is absolutely not normal at all. <laughs> so, uh, but but no, um, over the years it's it's gotten more efficient. It used to take me uh, until Saturday mornings um, or even afternoons to get things posted. But uh, but right now um, with Twitter, most of the schools, the ads or coaches or you know uh, sports writers and, and whatnot, um, they're they're all really great at you know posting updates and scores on Twitter, so I can get a very, very large percentage, um, usually well over 95 to 97 percent of the scores uh, just from Twitter. So I'll just start uh, start up usually about nine o'clock when some of the first scores start trickling in with the running clocks. And then, uh, you know, uh, I'll start getting some of those in up front and then just continue through the night as as I can keep up. I mean, eventually between 930 and 10, they're just all, almost all the games go final. So, uh, you know, I get behind then, but uh, I'm usually caught up by 12 to 1230 um, on a normal night. <laughs> uh, but, you know, with there's been lightning the past couple of weeks. So, you know, that plays a role, kind of slows me down sometimes. Yeah, for YSN fans, joeidol.com, you can go to for all the computer rankings. And Joe, that that's one of the most impressive things for me and all of us at YSN is you cover the whole state of Ohio. We're, we're northeastern Ohio. We're big-time football, but you're all over. How tiring is that after a weekend is over for you after you have everything in and, and another week starts? Uh, it's pretty tiring, you know, um, but usually I catch up 
Saturdays are usually pretty smooth. There's only 15 or 20 games on a normal Saturday. Um, so those are kind of uh, slow days. I kind of catch up, you know, maybe watch some college games as well and just kind of chill out on Sundays. That's one of my questions for you. I know you're a big time sports fan. Do you watch a lot of football? Do you watch a lot of college football? Do, do you keep track to maybe some high school teams that you like? Or do you get to see any high school teams, I guess, is my question from all of us at YSN and our fans here in Northeastern Ohio? Yeah, uh, generally on, you know, Friday nights and, and, and Saturday games, I, I try to find some some of the live streams. Um, and, and I try to, you know, peek in for a few minutes here and there. Um, I just I like to just check in. Uh, at several, you know, <laughs> just to kind of get a feel for the game and kind of see, you know, I, I don't get to know too much about the team specifically, uh, which would be nice. But um, but I, I like to kind of see, you know, just check in different regions, you know, some Northeast teams, some Northwest teams, and um, just kind of take it from there. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, you could check out YSNLive.com, and we have all the games for you in the playoffs. I know you'll be on there. When you get to uh, – Week 10, does anything change for you? I, I love the listings of – I've talked to some coaches tonight. When you see control your own destiny, that's a pretty good feeling for a coach and a community and a school that if you win and take care of business, um, then you're in the playoffs. For week 10 for you, pretty normal week for you. Nothing will really change on what you do? Um, for the most part, yeah. I mean, I, I'm – I'm, I'm a little more strict on where I get the scores from in a week 10. Like I said, I like to get the scores directly from the school accounts if possible. Um, and then, you know, if I find a, a, a team that I've had trouble in the past, I may, you know, I'm not going to use, I'm, I won't name the sites, but I won't use other score aggregating sites because they have proven in the past to uh, uh, not always be reliable. So uh, I try to stick with the, um, the people that I believe were at the game. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't say too much changes other than just trying to be a little more careful. Cause like you said, people kind of hang on that playoff status there. Um, yeah. and, um, you know, every once in a while I do get a, a, a wrong score, uh, even on week 10, it happens every once in a while. It happens, um, no but doubt. usually, you know, uh, with all the eyes on the site, I, I'll usually hear about it within five and five or 10 minutes after posting it and can usually get it quickly corrected. So. So that's that's a good thing, um, it, you know, that it won't sit out there too long. But we're with um, Joe Itel, yeah, we're with Joe <laughs> Itel, YSNLive.com. Proud to have you on YSN. I, I just want to tell you, um, how many people love what you do? How many people in, in the Mahoning Valley area watch and, and jump on your site and jump into those uh, computer rankings? Because it's so so important for all the teams and all the communities that we cover. And the things we do at YSN with all the games we do uh, and, and previewing through the week, uh, Joe, your your computer rankings help us immensely. So from DJ Yokley and Brian Scott and myself and all of us at YSN, shout out to you. And we can't thank you enough for everything that you do. Appreciate it. Thank you. But now let's get into a little fun stuff. I want to dive into some of these regions with you for all our Northeastern Ohio fans, Mahoning Valley fans, and, and the 50 schools that we cover. So Division II, uh, a Region uh, a 5, is um, we have some local teams. Austin Town Fitch plays Warren Harding. It, is it a situation, in your opinion, does Warren Harding need to win that game, Joe, in your opinion, to, to stay afloat in the playoffs? Um, let's see here. I'm just kind of looking at my – numbers here on the mins and maxes so you're saying if they if they what would potentially happen if they lose yeah austin town fitch right now is seven and warren harding mm -hmm. is nine so that's a nice local matchup for us so it looks like uh i i, I think they don't have to win i, I think there's enough points there that right. they would get in the second level I, I i think they would still be safe with if they would happen to lose that game to fitch Right. Um, so that's going to be a good game for us in our area. One more, Joe, in that region. Youngstown Boardman's four and four. They'll play young, uh, Campfield. It's a big game for, for Campfield, obviously. But Boardman sitting at that 16 spot. I know team 17 and 18 play one another Thursday night. 
is this a must win for the Boardman Spartans to make to stay in that top 16? Um, it may be, it may be, I, I'd have to look more specifically at the other second level games, but right. uh, like you said, with, with, with Kenmore and Firestone mm-hmm. playing, um, right. there's a Somebody's potential trying to get a decent amount of points there. So, right. And, and Boardman may still be able to hold off, uh, if, if Firestone won, but, right. but if, uh, if Kenmore won or if, um, or if, like a lakeside gets some extra second level help. Uh, it's that's a tight one. Possible. It's yeah. It would be it would come down to the second level games in that case. Well, there you go, Spartan Nation. Right from Joe Idol. You better keep your eye on JoeIdol.com on Friday night after all the scores come in to see what Division Two Region Five will do. Joe, those are the three teams. One of my favorite regions, Joe. Division Three, uh, a region. I want to say thirteen. Uh, we have Youngstown or uh, Hubbard is at number four. Uh, Canfield's at number five. Our area, Joe, is from 17. We have Niles, uh, 19 Holland, 20 Cheney. Is there any of those teams that you think with a win on Friday night, Niles comes to mind. They play a pretty good Girard team. Does the Niles win, depending on things that happen, could that propel them to the playoffs? Uh, let's see. Niles will get up to at least approximately nine and a half points before any second level help. So uh, I think that they probably have trouble passing Akron East. Uh, yeah, I think it, it would it'd probably maybe Harvey they could catch if Harvey yes. would, would lose, uh, depending on second level games. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess there could be an outside chance that they could catch a St. Vincent, St. Mary, or NDCL, but uh, those teams may get um, more than enough second-level help to, to stay ahead of Niles. Yeah. So it would, it would be – I'd say it's it's definitely a bubble situation there. We're with Joe Idol from joeidol.com. Does all the computer rankings for the state of Ohio and the playoff system. Joe, I guess the thing I wanted to ask you, maybe for our fans and, and high school football fans, hopefully all over, listen is explain the format for a little bit when, when how uh, the points come available. A team wins, they get points, then then secondary points. Not that you have to go through it in, in depth, but but maybe a quick little background for fans on, on how some of this process works. Sure. Yeah. So I, um, the, the short version, I guess, if there is one, is uh, you get points uh, when you win a game, um, depending on the size of the school you, you defeated. And any time that that school goes out and also wins a game, you get uh, what we call the, the level two points. Uh, you can think of it like a bonus, I guess. Um, right. So any time they win, you, you accumulate those. And then uh, your overall average is really a, is a, a sum of two averages and and one being your your own points you gained and one being your bonus level two points you gained um and the level two points are are, are weighted a little heavier, um, heavier so they right. you know they tend to be pretty important that's why you see sometimes a, a seven and three or eight and two team can get ahead of a nine and one or a ten sure. and one team in, in certain conditions so sure um so, so that's kind of the high level of how that works it's, it's really um especially if you're going for top seed you'll want to get as many of those second level points. points. Um, but what we're finding out with the expanded playoffs, you know, is some of those 14, 15, 16 seeds, you know, the, the first level, your own wins are starting to come back and be a little more relevant now because uh, some of those schools don't have uh, very many second level points. Yeah. With, with Joe Idol from joeidol.com does the computer rankings. I wanted to ask you that, that that's changed to, to 16 teams this year. What are your thoughts on 16 teams in the playoffs? How does how do you feel about that? Uh, I'm I, I go back and forth on that. I think so. So the, sure, I do I too. From your perspective, so from the perspective of giving uh, some extra schools the opportunity to play in the postseason, I think it's great. Right. Um, I guess where I think a lot of people have kind of um, I guess a little little leery would be. Uh, you know, some of the some of the regions may not have 16 teams that could really compete at the playoff level. So sure. there's some concern that, you know, some of the games may be a little more lopsided. Um, 
than usual. But then uh, on the contrary, there are some regions where uh, I, I think there's a region 11 where currently there are 19 teams over 500. Right. Um, so in that case, maybe uh, maybe some of the teams near the bottom are you know a little more competitive and, and you know, could could put a scare into someone. So and, and the other benefit, you get some seven versus tens and eight versus nine. So so there could be a, you know, Upset. besides the potential blowouts, there could be some additional uh, good games, too. So I, I think overall, I think it's it's good. But I, I think um, in some regions, it's going to be a little uh, uh, hairy. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I, I go back and forth with it myself. I do like to see as many teams as possible get into playoffs. And, and also, you're going to have some of the 116 games, like you said, that will be blowouts. But I, I, in my thing, and you've done this way longer than, than anybody, there, there are possibilities of upset. We've seen it in years in your computer rankings in the old days when it was a one versus eight. I know Youngstown Ursland has been in that eight seed a lot and played a one seed and beat them. So I, I love the playoff system. I love your system because – I feel like if you play a good schedule and you talked about that, that uh, the secondary points and the level two points help teams prepare themselves for the playoffs. So uh, a salute to what you do again, Joe, I jumped to division four. It's one of our favorite divisions in our area. We have Beloit West branches, number one, Youngstown, Ursuline three, Salem four, Beaver local 10, Poland 11, Gerard 14. So, all of those teams look to be sitting in good position in Division Four in our county area. Struthers is the one that's 18, plays a Poland team who is uh, has a good, very good record, Joe, of six and three. So a lot of points for Struthers. So must win for Struthers there. But when you look at the Division Four and you look at these numbers, a lot of good teams in this entire region. St. Joe's beat uh, Youngstown Urson a few weeks ago. This is a talented region, one of those ones you talked about. Yeah, I, th I think this would definitely qualify as one of those. So, yeah, you, you've got a lot of good teams in there. Uh, there are 16 teams over 500 right now. So, yeah. Yeah, Struthers, Struthers definitely uh, would need a little bit of help. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't have the schedules here right off, but um, if it works out for them, they, they may be able to slide in there I, i'm looking real quick cvca play, cvaca plays manchester so that could be an yeah, interesting matchup um, yeah, so so there may be uh, an opportunity there for our struthers to uh, get in with the win yeah it's it's a great opportunity for struthers so cats fans joe idol.com and check out your fate if you're able to get that win against the poland bulldogs i wanted to ask you when you when you're doing this and throughout the years are there any interesting situations that come up across the season that kind of throw you off a little bit or put you in, in, in a touchy situation? Um, Is four fits Joe one of those ones that are trouble? Cancellations are, are those hard to deal with? Well, they're not. They're, they're not necessarily hard to deal with. It's just they're you, you can't predict that they're going to go through, right? So. So, uh, and I guess that's the caveat I say with all the things we're talking about who might make it, it's definitely very unofficial. And um, with all the COVID cancels, especially, sure. um, those, those can change up your averages or your possibilities. So, um, you know, nothing, of course, is official until the OHSA announces it on uh, Sunday. Um, so, I'd say that yeah, the the, the forfeits always have me leery because you never know when they're going to crop up. Sure. Uh, some sometimes it's smooth sailing, and then there right. was one a few years ago on week ten on a Saturday morning where I got the notification. I'm like, oh crap! <laughs> so yeah. it, it, it happens, <laughs> and you just do the best you can and move on with them. We're jo with Joe Idol, YSNLive.com. Joe, we have a saying: DJ uh, Yokley and Brian Scott are the owners of our place. Brian Scott is that wizard back at studio that is able to have 25 games be streamed for us. And you're that guy that's the guru for all the YSN fans and our Mahoning Valley area with the computer points. Um, again, we can't not thank you enough. Division five, Joe, is another one of these divisions that are awful tough. South Range is number one, and, and they always – or number two, I'm sorry. That beast always that sits at number one, Kirtland. They're back again this year. They're very talented. But 
one of the teams that we're proud of that's a part of YSN, Garrettsville Garfield sits at five. That's a talented football team. Have you seen any of these teams, Joe, in Division Five? Let's see. I... You know, I don't know if I've seen. Uh, I might have seen. The Crestwood. I, I, I get confused sometimes. Crestwood or Crestview. I've, I've seen one of them. Crestview, yeah. <laughs> sure. um, but yeah, I, I think so last week on YSN, I, I did watch, I think it was the, the Valley Christian game. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a talented Saturday football game, team. Was it? Yeah. yeah. That's a so, talented um, football team. They're, they're, they're in the playoff mix there. Yeah. Our D5 is awful good. Obviously, Kirtland is the team to beat in that region, but uh, we have a lot of folks in there. Camp or South Range is. At number two, Garrettsville Garfield at five, Columbiana Crestview at 11, and Youngstown Liberty is at 15. And, Joe, they will play Garrett's Gar Garrettsville Garfield, who's undefeated. So that's a big game for, for Youngstown Liberty to hang on into that top 16 spot if they can get that upset against Garrettsville. Yeah, that would that'd be worth a ton of points for sure. Yeah, that one is worth a ton. So Liberty Leopard fans, joeidle.com if you get that win. Get on his site and check out where your team will finish at in the computer playoff rankings. I guess, Joe, another question I had for you, and where did you come up with the mathematical formula for this whole entire system? How hard was that to process and put together? So uh, it just to be clear, the, the base system is the OHSA Harbin system. Um, that's what we're using to decide the playoff. So, but yeah, the extensions I've kind of built into the site there with the playoff status and then the min and max, it, it, it just takes, uh, it goes a step forward from that. So um, since it all, since it's all based on the teams you beat and the teams that they beat, uh, as long as you know, all the schedules up front, you can kind of uh, check the boundaries of, you know, if, if all the teams you've defeated all win in a week, or if they all lose, so that's where you get these mins and maxes. Um, and once you have those kind of ranges, you can start to piece together, you know, like the minimum and maximum seeds. And, and once you get to a point where you see a team can no longer, even with their maximum score, can no longer beat the 16th highest uh, minimum score, you know, uh, that's when you, you're kind of eliminated unofficially, of course. But uh, it kind of plays off of that by extending the, um, the math behind the original formula, the Harbin formula. Well, hats off to everybody involved with that formula. On your end, is it the Joe I Idol? Do you have the war room, I guess, that you sit in and have all this stuff, all the schedules, all the scores? Do you, do you find yourself, do you, do you do it by yourself? Or are you alone or do you have people helping you out? How does it work for you, Joe? Right. So so the, the program I wrote uh, all the way back, you know, it's um, I'm still using it. It's it's over 20 years old now, but it still works. So, so from a data entry standpoint, you know, and, and looking up the scores, it, it's pretty much a solo job. But, um, you know, I do have some some folks on Twitter who will send me some scores uh, as well. And, uh, uh, you know, like I said coaches will email scores after the games. They see that they're not updated yet. Um, but as far as the data entry and the, the publishing, it's it's kind of a solo uh, solo deal there. Again, hats off to you. And obviously, if you ever need anything from any of us, including myself at YSN, please reach out and find this. We got two more divisions to go, Joe, and then we'll get out here. Division six, uh, again, a pretty powerful uh, region. Youngstown or New Middletown Springfield played in a state championship uh, the last two years. was a great game last year. They're sitting at number three. Levittsburg, LeBray is one. And then we have three teams, Brookfield, United, and Western Reserve all in good shape at 9, 10, and 11. And two teams, Newton Falls and Mineral Ridge, sitting on the outside. Looks like it will be hard uh, for those two to, to get into the playoffs. They'll need some help for sure. But but your thoughts in that region when you look at that real quick? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say, uh, like I said, Mineral Ridge, uh, unfortunately, I think their game is Yeah, canceled. I think they did get canceled. So that one obviously so hurts, yeah. Yeah, unless they get some really incredible second level help and and the teams ahead of them lose, um, it'll be kind of hard for them to make a, a move. Um, uh, Newton Falls, if if they would win, uh, they could potentially take advantage sure. of a loss by a, a Wellington or a Trinity ahead of them, so they right. could sneak into one of these last two spots. 
Um, but but yeah, like you said, uh, Springfield has has definitely yeah. had some, some good teams. I, obviously, I, 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 I think I said them a little last year. <laughs> yeah, Amagador is obviously one of those state perennial powers year in year out. They're sitting at number two. So YSN fans, that'll be a great region. We'll have Joe Idol's computer point rankings on all our shows all next week. And when the pairings come out, but the last one, Joe, Division 7, Warren JFK sits at 7. They have a tough year. You've talked about it. A lot of cancellations have lost some games to COVID, but they're sitting at 7 at 5-2. and two. Uh, Lowville is is 8 at 7-2, uh, and two, and the team you talked about, Valley Christian, is number 10. Those three teams sit in pretty good position, so we're proud of those three teams as YSN teams for uh, some representation in Division 7. Anything when you look at that last one in that division come out that that, that shocks you or, or say this is something possible could happen in this region? Um, I don't, I don't know if anything would shock me. I, I, it, the JFK game definitely is worth a lot of points if they would sure, pull that that's out. A big game. They could they could potentially vault them into like a, a top four spot if uh, if the math works out there, um, and you know then potentially get two home games in the playoffs. So, um, so that, that's an interesting possibility if, if they're able to pull that out. Um, but yeah, like I said, the, the top 12 look like they're probably going to be locked in right now. And, uh, so. well, there you have it. Uh, fans, Joe idol.com does all the computer system for the OHSA, the playoff rankings, Joe, I cannot thank you enough. If, number one, it was a pleasure to finally, meet you and get a chance to talk to you. I, I love what you do. Uh, I'm one of those guys on Friday and Saturday nights that hop on your site tons and tons of times to see what the week ahead tells. If this team does this, then then this can happen. But I wanted to thank you for joining us at YSN. Hopefully uh, when these playoffs start, maybe we could hook up again when we get down into maybe the final four of each region and talk. But before I let you go, I wanted to thank you, number one, for joining us and being part of YSN, for, for all our fans that, that get a little insight on how the computer system works. And a special shout out on my end to Matt Seidel and Quinn Pushkar for getting you on the show. And uh, lastly to you, you are, in my opinion, the guru of high school football in, in Ohio. Uh, you cover everybody, the whole state, all the regions, do a fantastic job with the OHSA and Without all of that and all of you do with, with the OHSA, companies like us at YSN wouldn't be able to, to do what we do. So, Joe, thanks for all you do. Glad to meet you and uh, look forward to talking again, and we'll get ready for the playoffs next week. Sounds great, Steve. Thanks for having me, and uh, have a great week, Ken. All righty. Thanks. Joe Idol, YSN fans from joeidol.com. Check out his computer rankings as your team will play week 10 and then find out if your team qualifies for the playoffs on his site, and we'll have more next week on the playoffs on YSN. Thanks, everybody.